What's up? This is Shannon from Shannon Speaks. You know the deal. Um, I'm here talking to you uh, about the third part of uh, the three-part series on a popular opinion blank concerning social justice issues and <sighs> God help me. Today I'm addressing the church. I mean, this is hugely touchy because there's so much history to um, that that can be brought up here. It's a hard discussion. Okay, there's so much history when it comes to a complicated history admittedly when it comes to the church in relation to social justice issues because many times the church spearheaded some social justice issues many times the church and religion was used to reinforce certain social inequalities namely uh, slavery and it justified a lot of white supremacy when it came to the slave trade and, and many other things so and if you're not sure where I'm coming from in regard to that, I'm, I'm speaking more on topics of, you know, lack of civilization, people needing to be civilized, people having different beliefs, uh, making them inferior and, not, and less human um, uh, because the Bible mentions slavery, uh, then they use that as reinforcement for the fact that slavery was okay um so a lot of different things and that that is a very con complicated complicated reality as a christian and a black person i am in a very particular boat and it's not one that i ride in unaware you know like i'm not lost in the sauce or being carried off in a place that i don't know about i i'm i, I educate myself on a lot of things and I still choose Jesus because man when Jesus frees you and you feel the love of God in your life it is an amazing feeling I have never felt so free and I am not just a woman and I'm not just black before I'm either of these things I am spirit okay and my spirit chooses to follow Jesus now with that being said I still need to address issues that concern my womanhood that concern my blackness and I wear those two um, things with pride I identify with God I am a Christian I am a Christian that God made black and that God made a woman and so to ignore these things I feel like would do a disservice to the beauty that God created okay I'm not gonna sit here and be that Christian person that says that we should not identify with our blackness I'm not that person I am not there yet maybe if you're there and you feel like you're more spiritually mature than me it's phil phil you know what I mean I'm not there and I don't think I'll ever be there I don't think there's anything wrong with being proud of where I'm from in my history you know what I mean black people were Africans were deeply spiritual deeply spiritual beings now if we allow Christianity to be or slavery to be the beginning of the history that we tell ourselves then we're we're forgetting that history like slavery is not where our history begins it's a second story our primary story is everything that came before that we were a people we had a culture we had a this we had a that so this is not to negate those those histories and those narratives i think they're beautiful i think they're beautiful also just for argument's sake i'm not going to sit here and act like christianity only came to africa through slavery because that is a serious injecture okay and I know this is a complete other complete other video really um, but you know even like in Ethiopia we have like I'm gonna say arguably like the original Jews please don't stone me Africa is where it all began in my opinion like I am super I'm very black and very proudly black so when I go to a church and that is multicultural and people say they don't see color I find it offensive you have to see my color you have to my color is my history it's who I am it's part of who I am if you don't see my color then how are you how do you know me as a person I'm not just a spirit I live on earth I have a family I have a history and you have to see that history when you look at me. You can't ignore it because it's too hard or difficult to address. And I, I love the fact that, you know, I go to a church where my blackness is celebrated, even though my pastor is white and community is encouraged. 
I love the fact that he does not shy away from social justice issues. And I think as a church, it's important for us to speak on them because we can't just turn a blind eye to social injustice. People are getting, you know, sex traded. They're getting abused. They're getting shot and killed. As a church, we claim to be a moral compass should we not be speaking on these things. And so it's really important for us to not close a blind eye and just focus on preaching the gospel. If you don't love the people, how are you going to preach the gospel to them? If you don't see their pain, how are you going to... God, Jesus fed people. He fed people while he taught them. He didn't just turn them away and let them go home hungry. He saw their social economic status. He saw where they were. He acknowledged the Jews and the Gentile. He understood political status and social class. These are not things that he turned a blind eye to. He acknowledged them. In fact, most of our gospels are written from people from the perspective of Gentile or Jew. We see the, the strain that was between um, Peter and, and Paul. You have to understand that these things are real. You're not doing a disservice to the gospel by acting like you don't understand the difference between white and black, or rich and poor. You know what I mean? These are things that are real. These are things that exist. We need to acknowledge them. As a church, we are doing our communities a disservice by not speaking up for social rights and I know we can't get caught up in political banter because that's really not our place however politics aside there are still humans that are dying because of inequalities and we need to address them and if we're not going to speak on a platform of politics because we don't feel it's our place that's fine but let's speak on the pack on the on the behalf of volunteering and benevolence and and you know what I mean philanthropy and let's do something let's talk let's at least tell people hey you know, this is a church and we love you here and we're sorry that these things are happening. How can we help? What can we do? This is wrong. To teach people about God's perspective on the inequalities and the injustices that are happening. Tell people about the fact that we're no longer slaves to sin or to people. Tell people about the fact that all men are created equal, that God loves us all, that we're all God's children and we do not have a right to take lives because of the way people look, because people are not just what they look like there is god inside of every single person people are spirits let's talk about it let's tell people the godly version about it don't just tell me about revelations if you're not seeing my today you're telling me about the coming of jesus christ which is insurmountably important but hello i am broken can you tell me that he loves me now i'm very it's very difficult for me to have a concept about eternity if you can't tell me about how he loves me today but if we have an understanding of the freedom that Jesus Christ gave us by dying on the cross in all of the areas that that falls into, can we act like it and love our neighbors by protecting them? Love our neighbors by speaking for them. Love our neighbors by feeding them. Love our neighbors by dealing with their trauma that is caused by things that you can help. If you are a white Christian, there are things that you can do apart from sitting silent and saying, that sucks. Speak up talk to people that you are connected to because they don't always know they're in a la la christian land and they don't always see the fact that their brethren are being shot i am fed up of christian people who care more about anti-abortion laws than they do about black lives you care about the baby in my stomach and not the fact that they're killing me before i get to breed my child does that make any sense you're concerned with the child in my stomach and not concerned with the murder that's happening every day? Does that make any sense? No. As a church, we need to do better. We are supposed to be the hands and feet of Christ, eh? the body of believers. And God was about that. He was about that life. He was about like, yo, if you're going to walk this journey with me, you're going to have to drink my blood and eat my flesh partake of this sorrow you understand what I'm saying it's about feeling what other people feel and being empathetic about that and getting down and dirty and walking the road together albeit narrow not wide and no we cannot get caught up and bogged down by the injustices of this world but we should do something about it where we can hands and feet are useless if they're not moving and walking okay we're not supposed to be statues in Christ. Do something.
you're gonna preach the gospel, walk the gospel. Can you love someone without acting on that love? Can you say you love someone without acting on that love? That's a question for you to answer. Because Jesus showed his love. He was about that action. He died on that cross. He said, I love you and I'm gonna prove it. I care about you and I'm gonna prove it. So we're telling people Jesus loves you and what are we doing? We're telling people that, oh, you know, you deserve to live, all men are created equal, but what are we doing about making sure that they can actually do that? And I'm part of the church, so I'm talking to myself too, y'all. We should be the foster parents, we should be feeding the poor, taking in people, being the hands and feet that move, breathe, walk, talk, smell, see. Come on. Let's be about that action. I love the church. This video is super complicated. There is so much that can be unpacked and spoken about and I don't negate all of those things. This is just a, kind of a tip of the iceberg, kind of a conversation starter. So you know what it is, Shannon speaks. We stay talking because a conversation needs to be had. What are you doing about social injustice? Whether you're a black or white, a believer what is your place what can you do and I find the common thread in all this is being vocal because when we talk about it then we can start to be about it um, I love y'all God is good and his mercies endure forever I don't claim to understand everything I'm on a journey too I'm just trying to figure it out like you. This Shen speaks. You don't know. Like, comment, subscribe. Tell me what you think. Tell me how you feel. What you're thinking. I want to know. <laughs>